Good evening, everybody. I'm Elsa Ramon. And I'm Peter Dowd. An Uber driver has been arrested and charged with sexually assaulting a female passenger, and police think there may be more victims. CBS 2's Adriana Weingold has the details of the case and the response from Uber. It's supposed to be the safe way to go. If you've had too much to drink, call an Uber. But this safe ride turned into a terrifying ordeal for a 36 year old woman. Police say the woman was at a company party in Newport Beach and was drinking, so her friends called her an Uber. They say she fell asleep on the ride home to Santa Ana. She woke up being sexually assaulted. She fought, broke free, got out of the car, and immediately called us. Obviously, when we got to the scene, the, the suspect was no longer there. But the driver was using the app with GPS when the assault took place. Police arrested 37 year old Angel Sanchez from Costa Mesa. He's being held on $100,000 bail. They say he'd been driving for Uber for about a year. Uber says Sanchez passed a background check. They say they have a zero tolerance policy for any sexual conduct. Uber released this statement saying, what the rider has reported to police is deeply troubling and will not be tolerated. The driver has been banned from the app. We will continue to support police with their investigation. In Newport, near where the victim called for the Uber, other beachgoers like Sarah and Christine say they're disturbed and scared by what happened. I took an Uber down here today, so that just freaks me out thinking that could happen. Uber, I mean, we think it's really safe, but I guess it's not, and that's what we're learning today. Police say if you don't feel safe, you can always call for a different driver. And if you're really concerned, don't ride alone. Police say there could be additional victims. If you have any information, you are asked to please call Santa Ana Police. In Newport Beach, Adriana Weingold, CBS 2 News.